Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now every quarter I try and do a quick uh, video now on the latest home energy tariffs. Um, I did a, one in October, I did one the three months before that for that quarter. I did a small update in November because there's significant change to OGO's charge anytime pricing. Uh, what's happened then, we've moved into January. Ofgem, the regulator, they have increased the price cap slightly. The gas prices are up a little bit and the uh, price cap on electricity. Um, again, there are changes to the standing charges, uh, but most importantly, the price per kilowatt hour on the normal price cap is increased now from 27.5p up to about 28.6p. There are regional differences, uh, but that is uh, what's happened. There's been a small increase in electricity prices. So let's start with the um, smart tariffs with the compatible cars or compatible charger because the energy company will talk to your charger or it will talk to your car and it will control your charging. All you have to do is say how much charge you want and when you want that charge by and they will work out the schedule for when to charge your car. Now the main ones being Intelligent Octopus Go and that guarantees you um, a standard price of 30.6p per kilowatt hour between 5.30 in the morning and 11.30 at night. And then overnight from 11.30 to 5.30, it's only seven and a half pence per kilowatt hour. Doesn't matter what you use that electricity on, those are the prices. So if you're charging your car at night, running your dishwasher, running your washing machine, um, any household use, your fridge freezer, your router, your, your Wi-Fi your security, all of that together um, in that six hour period is at the cheap rate. On top of that, when your car is plugged in, and you have told the Octopus app uh, how much charge you want and when by, it will work out a charging schedule. Now, sometimes with the Audi with a big battery, it needs to charge for 10 or 11 hours. So it will trigger bonus hours outside of that six hour period. And all of those bonus hours are charged at the seven and a half pence per kilowatt hour rate. So you can trigger additional hours above that six hours. And sometimes if the wind is blowing and electricity is cheap, um, because of the large amount of renewables around. Again, Octopus will decide that it's better to charge your car during the day than at night, and you get those additional hours at the cheap rate. Um, and that is for all the use, household and the car. Uh, the other one being OVO Charge Anytime. Now, OVO can do a range of different tariffs. Some are fixed, some are variable. Their variable price is up at the off-gen price cap of 28.6p and then you get your car charging at just seven pence per kilowatt hour. That is the cheapest car charging out there. Um, all you need to do is tell OVO how much charge you want and when by. There is no fixed cheap period. It's just let OVO decide when to charge the car up. You dictate when it's going to be ready by and they work out the schedule and they charge you at seven pence per kilowatt hour. So that is really good, but none of your household uses are that cheap price, only the car use. So you can't benefit by shifting household use into a cheap period and you can't trigger additional hours for household use. So although OVO is cheaper per kilowatt hour during the day for your house use, it's cheaper overnight for your car charging. Um, when you can shift that energy into the off-peak periods with Octopus, you can end up with a lower bill. Now, if your car is uh, not compatible or your charger is not compatible with those tariffs that I just mentioned from Intelligent Octopus Go, and OVO charge anytime, what you really wanna be doing is looking at a time of use tariff. So if you have a smart meter um, that can submit the half hourly readings, and that's most smart meters now, um, you can pick a tariff that has uh, a low rate during the night and a standard rate during the day. That's not so different to economy seven, um, which was a, a popular thing with the old two rate meters. Uh, of those, the best two that I can find British Gas Electric Driver, uh, that's 30.5p by day, 8.95 uh, for five hours overnight. And Octopus Go, not to be confused with Octopus Intelligent Go that I've already spoken about. Octopus Go just has a fixed daytime period and a fixed nighttime period. Day prices are 30.6 and night prices are 9p per kilowatt hour, but you only get four hours at night. And finally, two more. Um, Eon have Next Drive and EDF have their Go Electric. So EDF um, is 34p by day. It's a fixed tariff. There's an exit fee. You get five hours at eight pence. I really can't recommend that one. The high daytime use 
um, at 34p is going to offset any gains that you get at night with charging up. So that one doesn't look too good. And the last one is Eon Next. Not quite as expensive by day, but significantly above the British Gas and the Octopus prices at 33p. And you pay 9.5p at night. Again, that is very slightly more uh, than with British Gas or with Octopus Go. But you do get seven hours of charging. So if you do a lot of miles, you need to charge a lot and you don't use much electricity during the day, that might work out the best. But when I ran things through on a spreadsheet, um, it's pretty unusual set of circumstances that that one's gonna work out well for you. Uh, the place to go, um, I reckon, is Intelligent Octopus Go, maybe over charge anytime, uh, particularly if you don't wanna charge it overnight, perhaps you work shifts or you've got a plug-in hybrid you need to top up more frequently during the day. Um, or if you just on a time of use tariff with a smart meter, British Gas Electric Driver and Octopus Go. So if you want to know how many hours you would benefit from uh, for charging your car up, how many hours do you need at that cheap rate to get the best out of it uh, for your car? Now, um, most home chargers are single phase electricity supply. Um, they have 32 amp charging cable on them and they will charge your car at about seven kilowatts. So for every hour you're plugged in, you gain seven kilowatt hours into your battery. Now in a car like mine, in the depths of winter, I'm only getting two miles for every kilowatt hour. So every hour I'm plugged in, that would give me about 14 miles. So the shortest period, the four hour period uh, with Octopus Go, I'm gonna get about 55 to 60 miles of range. And um, if I had a super efficient car like the Model 3 rear wheel drive um, with the LFP batteries, they're really efficient, Kiri, Nero's, um, some of the smaller cars, you'll be getting four or five miles per kilowatt hour of energy. So for every hour you're plugged in, you could be getting 30 or more miles, especially during the summer when uh, EVs work a little bit more efficiently. So again, a four hour window for charging up, you could be seeing 120 miles of range being added to your car. So look at your mileage, look how efficient your car is, how many kilowatt hours do you need, and you can work things out from there. Um, but as I said, the way to go, I think Intelligent Octopus Go, Ovo Charge anytime, or you're looking at the British Gas Electric Driver and Octopus Go isn't far behind it. So uh, not much to choose between them. It's about fixed or variable and, and which tariff you put yourself onto. Hope you found all this useful. The description below will have my link to Intelligent Octopus Go. If you wanna sign up to either Intelligent Octopus Go or to Octopus Go, click on my link to come across to Octopus Energy. You'll get a 50 pound credit to your first bill. I get benefit two of the same amount, uh, which is great. That keeps the channel going. And uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'd really love to get up to 500 subscribers and I'll keep posting these quarterly updates when I can.